with its six bedrooms, three reception rooms and staff quarters, all set in 13 glorious acres, this Grand Cotswolds Manor House is hardly your typical starter home for a pair of young newlyweds. But if local rumors are to be believed, the couple poised to move in here once building works are complete are not short of a bob or two. For Beggar's Lodge is expected to be the future home not of a pauper, but a prince, or rather a dashing young duke and his beautiful bride. Situated on the 3,800-acre estate of Great Two in Gloucestershire, where Harry and Meghan are currently renting a country bolt hold, the planned property is set to replace an existing set of dilapidated farm buildings. Depicted here in computer-generated drawings by a local designer, it certainly fits the bill for Meghan and Harry's future family home. The stone-built manor, at the end of a 150-yard-long tree-lined drive, will feature a high-tech media room, a massive walk-in wardrobe, a family room, an ancillary accommodation perfect for security staff, drivers and a nanny. At the rear of the house will be a flagstone terrace, ornamental flower beds and a 150-feet lawn lined with utopiary. Palace sources would not confirm the move and declined to comment on rumors that have circulated locally ever since the site was sold with full planning permission to an unnamed buyer shortly after the royal engagement in November. In a further clue, the plans were amended just a day before the royal wedding. A source said the property has been earmarked for a specific couple, and the project is shrouded in secrecy, so naturally the assumption in the village is that Meghan and Harry might move in. The property will take at least a year to build, which would explain why they are renting in the area for that amount of time. So to help them feel at home, here's everything they need to know about the Great Two set. The Sussexes are due to visit Ireland later in the summer as Meghan continues her induction into the firm. Meghan will also get an opportunity to represent the royal family in the United States. A source says plans are in place for an official visit to cities on the east and west coasts. Last week Kensington Palace announced that Harry and Meghan will visit Australia in autumn 2019 for the Invictus Games in Sydney, before travelling on to Fiji, Tonga and New Zealand. Local celebrities include David and Victoria Beckham, whose £6 million country house is close to Beggar's Lodge. Millionaire television producer John Lloyd, who came up with the idea of long-running quiz show Kai in the local pub The Falkland Arms, also lives in the village. Chief Kai researcher John Mitchinson and his wife Rachel Kerr live there, as did until recently Brent Hoberman, founder of travel website Last Minute. Com.sir Patrick Stewart, best known as Captain Jean Luc Picard of Star Trek, lives a short distance away. Oscar winning actor Sir Ben Kingsley lives five miles away with his wife Daniela, and David and Samantha Cameron have a home in Chipping Norton, 10 minutes from Great Two by car. Others in the Chipping Norton set include Elizabeth Murdoch of the media dynasty and former Blur bass player turned cheese producer Alex James. Great Two Park is home to Britain's poshest music festival, Cornbury, which attracts the great and good. David Cameron and his wife Samantha were once regulars at the Shindig, dubbed Poshstock. There was a whisper last year that the event wouldn't happen this summer, but it seems founder Hugh Fillimore has had second thoughts and has announced that it will indeed take place, just in time for festival-loving Harry's move to the area. Hugh said, I think Harry and Meghan will come. I am expecting them to, so I've improved security. It's the highlight of the social scene in the area. The royals will be able to dance to headliners UB40, Alanis Moore said in Squeeze. During the festival, the mile-long track from the arena to Soho Farmhouse becomes something of a fashion catwalk as glamorous partygoers make their way to the club's wild all-night after parties. A nightclub at the end of the garden Meghan may well have been encouraged to leap into British country life by the welcoming presence of a huge star-studded country club at the end of her garden. Often described as a little slice of London in the countryside, Soho Farmhouse has two swimming pools, a spa, a nightclub, a cinema and several restaurants, the perfect retreat for a California girl who isn't yet ready for long country walks. Soho Farmhouse guests can come back from country jaunts to a milk van selling cocktails and a three-course supper. Soho Farmhouse guests can come back from country jaunts to a milk van selling cocktails and a three-course supper guests including pop stars Chris Martin and Adele can often be found relaxing on the array of large, cozy sofas dotted around the outside fireplace, which is kept roaring all night. Other regulars include Princess Eugenie and, whisper it, Harry's ex-girlfriend Cressida Bonas.
Meghan hosted a gaggle of female friends here for a spa day ahead of her wedding last month. The complex is made up of 40 cabins, a cottage and a 6,000-pound-a-night, seven-bedroom farmhouse. And maybe Meghan will decorate her new home with the help of the on-site Soho Home Shop, where rugs can cost 7,000 pounds.